All right, you have to tell us who you are, where you, where you live in Windsor, or where you grew up in Windsor, where you grew up, where you're looking at this. <laughs> okay. My name is Lou Sorrentino, and I came to Windsor about 30 years ago to the Windsor Recovery Club. And one of my fondest memories there was realizing that the people here thought just like me and I felt at home again, even though I grew up in Uncasville, Connecticut near the Mohegan tribe. And although I went through a divorce and it, it, was, it was challenging, I came up here and got a much better life than anything I could have imagined, thanks to Windsor and a lot of the people here. I lived in East Windsor and still do, and, but I spend almost all my time in Windsor at the Windsor Recovery Club. Because I'm 35 years in recovery thanks to Windsor. And that recovery club that started about 29 years ago has changed thousands of lives. And I've been a part of that. Because I ended up going to school to become a licensed alcohol and drug counselor. And I've seen many people rise from the death of their old life because of what happens in that Windsor Recovery Club. And I've been a part of it. Where is that club located? It's on Palisado Avenue, right next to the Historical Society. Oh, perfect. <laughs> perfect. And, and then what brought you to that, to, to, to Windsor Recovery Club, then, if you didn't live here? What brought you to that place? Well, like I just said, I was, I was married to a girl here and we got divorced at St. Gabriel's is where we went. And that was a wonderful place that she had gone to school. And the fact is, I can leave the past behind thanks to Windsor and have a better life because when I got up here, I ended up getting involved in the state capitol through Windsor and changing a lot of laws for about, for example, alcohol and drug counselors used to be in the non-professional class equal to a janitor. Not that there's anything wrong with janitors, but nurses and other doctors get much better benefits. And I changed those statutes by standing up and getting a lot of signatures from people in Windsor and other places. And we went to the legislature and said, you're right. Those laws were made in the 1970s. This is now 2015. We might as well do it. And that's when alcohol and drug councils became equal to nurses and doctors. That's one of my fondest memories about Windsor, but they also the Windsor Re Recovery Club has open mics and there's much more fun in those kind of places than I could have imagined. I thought alcohol and drugs was, was what I was going to have fun, but after I turned my life over to the care of my higher power and Windsor Recovery Club and people like all of you, I ended up finding out that you can have more fun than a pub. And so in the song I'm creating, I'm going to be singing it for the town of Windsor on October 20th. It has the line, Windsor Recovery Club, more fun than a pub. <laughs> and the fact is, that's a miracle. And I th would like to thank all of the people in Windsor for being so open to letting people like me rise up from the old life and think, well, they didn't, they didn't do much before, but... What I've done in the last 35 years of my life, thanks to all of you, has been beyond my wildest dreams. I got a great life today. And I, I travel around the world and did an exhibit at the Smithsonian Museum and written lots of songs for a lot of towns. It's about the millstone at Devil's Hopyard State Park in East Haddam. And when I was Crying one day at the bottom of the waterfall and remembering my parents' picnics there, I saw a millstone there and I said, what is that? And one thing led to another and I found out that that millstone was thrown in there in the American Revolution by the Sons of Liberty who destroyed the mill because they wouldn't kill anybody. They wanted, there were doctors and nurses and preachers who all lived in that same mill, B.B.'s mill. And because they wouldn't kill anybody, Thomas Jefferson and George Washington had them tarred and feathered and they destroyed their business and put them in prison. The people we think of as heroes, 
Thomas Jefferson and George Washington did that. They, they allowed that to happen. And when I, I did the research on that and I presented it to the state and they said, we'll think about it. But then I presented it to the Smithsonian. And 10 years later, while the state hadn't even got around to it yet, the Smithsonian said this is one of the most important things in American history. And they put it on permanent exhibit at the Smithsonian American Democracy section. It opened in 2017. So did you extend your time in Windsor at all, other than these meetings? Did you extend? Yes, I do a lot of volunteer work for a lot of people who have a drug and alcohol problem and I don't ask any money for it. I write letters to the courts. And the fact is that I've done a lot of musical performance. Uh, for example, the town, I'm not, I didn't ask any money for the song I wrote. It spent me two months on working at it, many hours. But because I've got that, the backup of all the good things in my life, I can do that now. I can give service. And I think that's a message that will live on beyond all of us, just like the other people who lived in Windsor. Their messages still live on to the good things they did. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I got one question I've been asking a few people who would get interviewed. Uh, any like fond memories of any events, whether Shad Derby, Memorial Day, concert, anything? Yes, I have a lot of fond memories. And one of them was uh, I was out on the on the lawn in front of the Windsor Recovery Club, and I saw people throwing eggs on the uh, John Mason statue and putting paint on there and swearing about it, and realizing that it was only there because it was taken away from somewhere else down near where I lived in near Groton, Connecticut. That statue. It's still there now, but the town has decided they want to keep it, and I agree. Because sometimes the fond memories of the past really have a dark past to them. But I think we can all rise up and have a better life, thanks to people in Windsor.